Create Lisp with ChatGPT? It's definitely magic scene performed by AI. Today, I have something really exciting to share with you. I'm going to show you how I automated a task in AutoCAD that used to take me one to two hours to complete. And now, thanks to OpenAI, it only takes me between one to three minutes. And the best part is, I did all of this using ChatGPT. Guys, my life is much easier with this Lisp function, which I will reveal bit by bit until the end of this video. If you have not heard about ChatGPT, it's an AI language model developed by OpenAI. It's designed to understand and generate human-like text based on the input it receives. The amazing part is that you can use it to help you write codes. I started by asking ChatGPT, please, would you be able to create a Lisp function that prompt me to select entities from an AutoCAD drawing? The function then creates new layers based on how many colors are included in the selected entities. Then it renames each layer based on the color number. The color numbers shall be from 1 to 100. Wait, hold on. Let's go through this aloud once again. So, create a Lisp function that prompts me to select entities from an AutoCAD drawing. Create new layers based on how many colors. So, for example, if we have five colors in the selection, it will create five layers. And rename each layer based on the color number. Okay, so it, let's say uh, the color number is 20. The layer name will be layer 20, etc. And finally, I want it to be more specific that the color numbers are from 1 to 100. Click send. ChatGPT is now processing my message and writing the Lisp code. It also describes what the code does and if there is any limitations. Now is the time to try it. I have copied the code, then from AutoCAD, the Manage Ribbon, click Load Application, in the empty space right click, New, Text Document, notice it's not visible, so type in star dot star in the file name, hit enter, now the text file is visible, right click, edit, control V to paste the code, I have simplified the function name to circle, S-A-C-L, then close and save, rename the file to S-A-C-L, same as the function name, and the extension to L-S-P for Lisp, click yes, then load. Now from startup suite, click contents, then add. From the browser, select the Lisp file, open and close, and then close. Let's try this part of the code. I have created example entities with different colors. You can check the color number from object color in the properties palette, select more colors, Click the color and notice the index number. Let's call the Lisp circle. It prompts me to select objects, that's cool. Select all entities, then hit enter. Now let's check. Click the layer drop list from layers. We can see four new layers are created and the names end hold the color number. That's pretty cool, that's amazing. Now back to ChatGPT, thank you. I want the function to set the layer by entity so that each entity has the layer with the color name. For example, if layer five is created, then the entity that has color five will be set to layer five, etc. So the example should help as well here. Send let it process and provide the updated code. Copy the code from CAD Manage Ribbon, Load Application, right click the Lisp file, 
open with notepad, select and delete the old code, then paste the updated code. Remember, we need to modify the function name to SACL for simplicity. Close, save, and load the file again so it gets updated and close. Call SACL, it prompts you to select objects, select the entities and hit enter. Oh, finished in no time. Check you can see the set layer for each entity based on color number. What if I create a new polyline, make it a bit visible by increasing the width. Now this is stored in layer 3. Select the polyline from object layer, select color number 160. Now let's call the Lisp function again, select the polyline, hit enter. Unfortunately, it did not work. The layer is still layer 3 and not layer 160. The reason is because of the color limitation I have in my current code. How to fix this? Let's go back to the magic stick chat GPT. Please, can you modify the function so that it works for colors from 1 to 249 wait for it to process and generate the new code now copy the code in autocad select layer 0 as current layer type purge then enter click purge all or purge all checked items and then close now we only have layer 0 in the drawing go to manage ribbon load application Right click the Lisp file, open with Notepad, delete the current code, Ctrl V to paste the updated code, make sure the function name remains SACL, file, save, close the file, then load, and then close. Call the function SACL, select the objects, and hit enter. Notice the polyline is now set to a new layer layer 160. Check the remaining layers. It seems all done perfectly right. To be honest, I did not like the efficiency of the code when I tried it, since it is looping through each individual object to be set in layers which is not efficient, especially when you are dealing with thousands of objects. So back to ChatGPT. Please can you make the function more efficient by selecting the entities of the same color first and set the layer? Just to give more context, in this case, instead of setting the layer for each individual entity, layer setting can happen for all selected entities with the same color. If pause here, you can see a smart suggestion here by GPT-4 model, which is using selection sets and then setting to layers all at once. Now do copy the new code and hopefully the final one. From CAD, open the load application, right click the Lisp function, open with notepad, Replace the old code with the new one and retain the function name as circle, file, save, close, load, and close. Now call the function and select objects and in no time each entity is set to a new layer and the layer has the entity color in its name. Practical example where this lisp could be handy. I have got an isoback model of a junction which contains thousands of hatches in different colors and each color represents a band of level differences. Now instead of having the whole model in one cat layer, I wanted to use circle to assign each color to a new layer automatically. It only took one minute to process almost 14,000 hatches. Isn't that incredible? Starting from the basic query to chat GPT and escalating to a more sophisticated Lisp, 
that significantly simplifies our lives. I have later renamed the layers and exported the ISOPAC model to QJS for better visualization. So try it and let me know your experience in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.